And yet, you, yet NATO has expanded far more after the fall of the USSR than it ever did during the existence of the USSR when NATO's purpose was supposedly to contain the USSR in the first place. And so that's a long way of saying Why do they want to join NATO, though? What's that? Why, why do you think those countries will want to join NATO? They want to join NATO because they like to free ride on the United States of America. Yeah. Who doesn't? Everybody loves a free lunch from Uncle Sam. But Uncle Sam has turned into Uncle Sucker, okay? <laughs> And I don't, want, I don't want Uncle Sam to be Uncle Sucker. I want Uncle Sam to stand for the interests of our citizens. I mean, let's just talk, I mean, you're, you're, you're dragging me into the rabbit hole, which I love, which I love. But, but as you drag me a little, get into the details, right? More than half of NATO countries don't even meet their NATO level commitment for percentage of GDP spent on US military spending. More than half of them don't even spend 2% a year on GDP. So we're paying, and by the way, Europe actually they have the capability. I mean, Germany. These guys, oh man. <laughs> Olaf Scholz, you get Angela Merkel, they're, they're, they know how to play the United States like a fiddle, all right? The Pied Pipers of Hamlin come in pairs between Zelensky and you know, Germany. They're really two sides of the same coin. The real problem is we're being played, right? We have this machismo that we sort of picked up at the end of the Cold War, but the Cold War realists like George Kennan who actually was the chief architect of our Cold War deterrence strategy. He died in the late 1990s before he died. He was the one who said that NATO expansion was the number one mistake that we made in our Cold War deterrence policy. Too bad the guy's now long dead. Part of the reason why we have repeatedly failed over and over again because we failed to define the purpose of our military or our foreign policy. So I favor a modern Monroe Doctrine. What does that mean? You don't mess with the United States on our own soil or in the Western Hemisphere. Chinese spy balloon, not okay with it. Chinese spy base in Cuba, not okay with it. Chinese made fentanyl coming across with Mexican drug cartels across our southern border, killing 50 times the number of people this year of fentanyl poisoning of the number who died on 9-11, not okay with it. Chinese ownership of farmland, turning our children into a bunch, or grandchildren, into a bunch of Chinese serfs. I'm not okay with the Chinese control of the Panama Canal. I'm not okay with it. If you don't hear, <laughs> releasing man-made viruses from a bioterrorism lab in Wuhan that shuts us down for an extended period of time and kills hundreds of thousands of Americans. I'm not okay with it. You'd have hell to pay for it if you mess with the United States on our own home turf. But that has to be the priority, rather than fighting somebody else's war in God knows where, for some, what reason, we can only guess.